गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक मोशन मोशन सिंपली मीन्स मूवमेंट इफ वी लुक अराउंड अस वी फाइंड दैट देर आर नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स विच आर इन मोशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल व्हीकल्स रनिंग ऑन रोड बर्ड्स फ्लाइंग इन द स्काई मूवमेंट ऑफ अर्थ अराउंड इट्स एक्सेस एक्सेट्रा नाउ इन ऑल दीज केसेज द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर चेंजिंग देयर पोजिशन विद टाइम एंड हेंस आर सेट टू बी इन मोशन so we can define motion as if an object changes its position with respect to time then it is said to be in motion likewise the second topic that we are going to discuss in this relation is reference point now what do you understand by the term reference point so a reference point is a fixed point with respect to which the given body changes its position so if i write the definition it will be like this it is a fixed point with respect to which the given body changes its position it can also be called as origin that is the starting point now the other term in relation to it is rest so how do i define rest suppose a book has been kept on the table in the first period no one carries that book the entire first period goes off now it is the bell for second period now what do i observe that the book has not changed its position on the table where it was earlier now it is also over there only so to define rest i would say if an object does not change its position with respect to time then it is said to be at rest so all those objects which do not change their position with respect to time are said to be at rest now generalizing these two words that is one the motion and the other one is the rest these two words are said to be relative terms now the my next topic will be rest and motion are relative terms now in order to understand this let me give you an example for example a person is standing on the road side and a passenger is sitting in the bus now for the passenger who is standing on the road side the passenger inside the bus appears to be moving if the bus is in motion 
बट फॉर द को पैसेंजर्स दो सिटिंग इन साइड द बस द पर्सन विल बी एट रेस्ट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट रेस्ट एंड मोशन आर रिलेटिव टर्म्स दैट मीन्स इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द फ्रेम फ्रॉम वेर वी आर कंसिडरिंग whether it is the bus or it is the person standing outside the bus so we can say a body or an object is in motion object is in motion is in motion with respect to one reference point but the same body may not be at rest with respect to another reference point so thus we say both thus we conclude rest and motion are relative terms